Oh, there's a new squirrel baffle in town, buddy. It's green and it's nasty. Now I've made two very successful squirrel baffles and my brain's always thinking of other designs and materials I could use. I've seen some other designs using a two liter pop bottle or soda bottle and this has always been something I wanted to use. Now the diameter of these bottles is around four inches. Based on my other designs, I found that at least six inches is best to discourage a squirrel's grasp so they can't grab around that as well. So on the surface, this shouldn't work. So I had an idea to use a distract and confuse strategy to discourage these very persistent little rodents. My first try was not at all what I planned. The idea was to cut the bottom off and cut the sides into these quarter inch strips. These strips were gonna blow around in the wind, create a visual block, but if the squirrel came up to them, they would be hard to get around, hard to grasp and cause some confusion, or at least that's the theory. Only the most determined squirrel would get past this blockade. However, as I cut those quarter inch strips, they started to curl inwards. I decided to keep going and see what they look like. Not quite what I envisioned. It kind of looks like it could be easily overcome by the squirrels. And uh, yeah, it's really quite weird. But I thought, you know, while I get another bottle, I thought I'll just put it out and I just waited to see what would happen with that one. Surprisingly, while I was on the watch for the next few days, the squirrels didn't even try. My theory was, was that these squirrels that exist now are pretty much used to my previous baffles and they know they've, they can't do anything and they've given up all hope. Now, not satisfied by my design, I decided to try it differently. So taking a second bottle, I tried to cut it from the opposite side. I thought maybe this would promote the plastic to curl the other way. I was right to some degree, so actually cutting it this way lessened the tendency for the plastic strips to curl inward. But it still wasn't quite what I wanted. Then I had an aha moment. Essentially these are like ribbons, so you know, to curl a ribbon you take a pair of scissors on it and you just kind of do it a little strip. So I grabbed a pair of scissors and proceeded to curl. I quickly learned that gloves are definitely necessary as they would save my fingers from the plastic edges. Now the plastic is a lot thicker than the ribbons, so I had to use multiple passes to get them to go in the right direction. And I didn't want to overdo it, I just kind of wanted them to kind of splay out a little bit, uh, or at least go straight down. So not perfect, but a lot better. So I decided to let them sit splayed out and see if that would help for a couple days. And the result actually was pretty good. Pretty good reversal of that curl. I was surprised at the results and uh, now all I had to do is test this. Now, as you see here, I had to make an impromptu kind of pull for this feeder and testing how well this holds up as well. I'm pretty impressed. All it took were some zip ties, my uh, umbrella stand and some scrap metal poles. So far it works like a charm, even on those windy days. And suspending it up there, I did use some zip ties to hold it up and a bit of duct tape just to try to keep it as centered as possible. Unfortunately, the squirrels aren't as active in the winter as they are in the spring and summer. I haven't had any evidence of squirrels attacking the feeder, but honestly, they just haven't shown much interest in general. I really think those original squirrel baffles were way too effective and they learned that there's no point in wasting their energy. They just simply look up every now and then just to see if the birds are there and wait for some seeds to get knocked down. So I think spring and summer will be the true test to see how this design holds up. In the meantime, I'll keep the baffle up and let everyone know if this works long term or if it doesn't. If you have a more active squirrel population, maybe some people uh, watching this can try this design and let me know in the comments below if it worked for you or not. But right now, nothing's been touching it for two weeks, so I think this is a decent design. Thanks for watching, and if you like this, please uh, hit that like button below, and I will see you in the next Ladybug Adventure.